backstage with Joe Lozon here in Phoenix. Obviously, you get the victory tonight. You were saying that you don't believe that you deserve to get your hand raised. Um, if you were a judge, how would you score this? I, I thought he had the second, third round. You know, I'm, I'm a little critical of myself sometimes, but I 100%, you know, like after the second round, you know, I, I was like, okay, we're either down, it's either 1 1 or down 2 0. Uh, I thought I had the first, but we couldn't be sure. Uh, you know, but I, I don't know. I, I didn't think that, I didn't think I had it. You said that he kind of knew all your tricks and he stopped all your tricks. Um, you're an incredible jiu-jitsu practitioner, very well-rounded mixed martial artist. What surprised you about what he brought in there? Uh, you know, he's just he's very heavy on top. Uh, a couple times, you know, usually I'm able to kind of move people around a little bit, get back to my feet, hit some sweeps, but he just shut everything down. You know, he had great jiu-jitsu. I was super impressed. Uh, you know, I, we kind of came in the fight thinking, you know, he's going to be like a, he's a black belt jiu-jitsu, but I was really worried about the full locks, which he didn't try at all. Yes. Um, so I felt like our camp was maybe a little bit misguided, but it's the way it goes. Do you feel like a fight like this is a big learning lesson as to what you might want to do differently? Uh, yeah, I mean, every fight, win or lose, uh, you know, we go back and we, we try to think about what things I can do better and things I, do, I, I made mistakes on or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back. You know, I think that we put a little bit, I think we thought we had him figured out in his game plan. We figured it out too much, you know, and we were completely wrong. So we got to maybe keep that in mind next time around. You know, I had the opportunity to speak with him just a few minutes ago. And he seems very concerned that the UFC might not want him around anymore. As a veteran of this game and somebody who is always so gracious, what are your thoughts and where he belongs here? He definitely belongs. You know, I've been around for a long time. He 100% belongs. You know, I'll be the first person, you know, singing his praises, you know, from here on out, you know, because he did a great job. And now I feel bad because I thought he won and I got the, I got the win and he got the loss. So I really feel bad about it now. So I will be, I'll be swinging it, singing his praises nonstop. You got some ice on your elbow. Uh, how close were those? Did you think to finishing him? I thought the fight was over. You know, I, I hit him with good, a couple good elbows, and he slumped. And you know, I, I, I tried to finish him. I thought I was going to hit him. I thought he was going to be unconscious, but he, he just he came to and scrambled, and he did a great job. Where do you go from here now, Joe? Back to the gym. You know, I go home and play with my three-year-olds. My son Joey turned three on Thursday. I was out here, so I'm a little sad about that. So we're going to celebrate his birthday this week, and uh, back in the gym. You know, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm sure baby Joey has some sweet birthday gifts coming. He has something awesome coming for sure. Excellent. I can't wait to see it online. Thank you so much for your time, Joe. Congratulations. Thank you.